ground covers that you <laughs> didn't know. Uh, Goltheria, also known as wintergreen. It's Say a that native again? Goltheria. Goltheria. Mm-hmm. Never G-A-U-L-T-H-E-R-I-A. even heard of G-A-U-L-T-H-E-R-I-A. Also known as wintergreen. It's a native evergreen ground cover. So I noticed a lot of people, their, their English ivy is becoming, getting a bad reputation known as an invasive species. But uh, wintergreen is a is a great can can tolerate zone three and zone seven. It's often sold as a house plant, believe it or not. And that you'll know because the berries are big; they're big for the size of it, so they look like uh, almost like a a giant cranberry. So they're red, beautiful berries, and that again, it it's a shade plant. So. It likes to be in the shade. If it goes in too much sun, it's going to dry out and it can kill it. But you think about underneath the trees and underneath things like that, and the fact that deer don't eat it. Anybody plant any hosta? Oh, yeah. In a deer was... location? <laughs> <laughs> you don't have hosta anymore. <laughs> you have deer food. And that uh, the host, like hostas that can grow in the shade and can create a, a ground cover and stuff but in a deer area are just going to get eaten. Now, here's one thing. They can also be used as a, like we call them, hangly danglies at, at bloomers and that they make a great hang over the edge pot when you're doing a fall planting or anything like that. And the berries will dangle over the, ed- the edge and the leaves are, are glossy, great glossy look to them. So if you take a fall planter and you you grab heuchera, kale, mums, and add the wintergreen or goltheria, that it will be a fantastic looking plant, not only for now, but also at Christmas time. You know, the mum will be done. You can pull that out and that you can add some white sticks and some pine. It'll look great. But again, ground cup. That ground cover. That's what I want to talk about. It's one of those plants that are underused and does a great job in shade areas. So organics, good in organic soil, you want it evenly moist. I know that's a tough thing, but that requires maybe a sprinkler system. But if you have enough shade and you have good soil, okay, you'll be okay because it'll be in part shade or full shade. Full shade. We don't hear that very often. Full shade. Full shade. They do best uh, in like with a cool winter, of course. And you're going to plant about 10 to 14 inches apart. So they're not going to be like right next to one another. So they, you need to give them a little bit of space. And I'll tell you what. Shady areas. Woodland gardens. Rock gardens. People plant rock gardens anymore. Uh, I mean, it depends. I, and like South Jersey's flat. Yeah. Like North Jersey, New York, um, yeah, yeah. up in the Poconos, things like that. They do they rock gardens. Yeah. Uh, it could be along the foundation in a shaded area. And again, a native garden. Those of you who like natives, There's this is plant. one of the best ones going. And it's a great compliment to acid-loving shrubs like azaleas and rhododendrons and camellias and even blueberries. Waxy. Nodding bell shaped flowers. Do you follow me with that? Think of an Andromeda flower. So it has a flower that's similar to that, uh, but not, not probably as big a cluster. So it's going to be those individual ones that early summer is when it will flower. So sometime in June, uh, flowers give way to edible berries that we were talking about. They're about three eighths of an inch, and that you can eat them. You, you're going to try it a little? I don't know. I'm not too keen on berries. Yeah. Eh. Eh. Do you want to try it? Yeah. Yeah? They're coming in. Yeah. All right. So they have berries. Oh, I want to see berry. you eat one. Yeah. <laughs> Can we eat it on the Can you eat it on the show? Yeah, we'll do that. You'll start yeah. coughing. <laughs> we can't talk. Well, remember what we, what's their common name? They're wintergreen. Wintergreen. Yeah. Yeah. Not bad. Like gum. Like gum, yeah. So it it's has that. Breath, yeah. And it <laughs> and it's the flavoring. Yeah. Right? Get this flavoring for chewing gum and candy. Toothpaste. Toothpaste. Can't be all bad. Yeah. Uh, and that wildlife will eat it. And they they say that they're 
areas where it's naturally occurs, like up in New England and things where bears just like eat, eat yeah, just, just forage over there. And they're eating other wildlife, such as uh, like pheasant, for instance, squirrels. Ah, hate deer. Hate, hate them. <laughs> but the berries, they'll eat the berries, but they won't eat the, the uh, foliage. And again, it, it's like we'll create the, the, the foliage creates like an oil and it can be used as an, as an astringent, a stimulant, and a diuretic. Wow. How's your heart? Pretty good. Yeah. Oh, well, you don't need it. <laughs> <laughs> so again, all, all those, all those uh, plants that we sell, so it's interesting to, to go to the botanical name because you find it's like, that's what my father was taken for, you know, for, for his heart. His heart. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so look yeah. for... Gulthera, or ever, again, it, it's called wintergreen, um, and look for it at your local garden center. It is a fun plant, and it's a great plant um, because it looks so pretty, and it doesn't have a lot of insect or disease problems. The only thing is you got to keep it in the shade. You can't put it out in full sun, you know. And it's not even the water; they just the leaves can get burned. So again, it, it's it's a great ground cover in shade. Out. All right, shade lovers. That's it.